Center. That was Chung. He borrowed my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, no, my life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, Wei. It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find something for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! <laughs> That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. Ah! Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too, and that drove her crazy. 
Not enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That too? Here we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes. But they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he... Oh my god! I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. mother took you to the States? <clears throat> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was me, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. My mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, 
but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know, no, no, guys. This is for my wedding. My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect. You want this cake, you're going to have to cry for my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the key. Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Careful! The wedding. Don't scratch the paint. Ah! We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family, you have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh, it's very important. You know, I could probably set you up. Careful! <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back. But watch it! You could hurt somebody! What are you doing here? When, it, when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. Uh, I, I am here and not here. I uh, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. What is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? when we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Winston is not gonna. Don't scratch the paint. I should be there. You are in the red. My car, my car. Wait, what are you doing? Way. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. You have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope. I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's... The secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you.
See you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, man. I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry. There's still time. Don't start without me. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, <laughs> so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, and this is Chu. I expect the food to be... Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm going to make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You got to enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen.
I need them here now!
Kupo! Are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Uncle Paul! You're hurt! It's nothing but a little scratch. You look sorta... Of... We gotta get you to a hospital. Doctor, now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you gonna take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you personally police? responsible. Oh, thank God. Are we clear? Okay, okay. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife, they fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wei. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Wei. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Anything happens to me, you look after my people, okay? Winston! She doesn't deserve this. No!
Hey, baby, looking for a little adventure? <laughs> Might as well try everything once, right? I've been a bad, bad girl today, Wei. I may need to be disciplined. I do love a man who knows how to show his appreciation. You'll come back anytime.
get you, okay? in there. Inspector, hotshot killed Ace. Damn it, wait, we were supposed to catch them in the act. Yeah, well, they acted too fast. I have an eyewitness statement and all the evidence you need to get this bag of shit off the streets. I'll type out a warrant. <laughs> Don't bother, I have a better idea. I'll challenge him to a race, and once we're in it, I'll lead him right to you. All right, but wait, I want him alive.
know it's dangerous to drive the talk, right? You suck! You know that? Shut up. Little punk never shuts up. You should have seen the look on his face when we charged him with murder. He'll get 20 years at least. Nobody pays much attention to those guys, but they kill or injure dozens of people a year. Impossible to say how many lives you've saved, but you really did a job on this one, Officer Shen. <laughs> 